happy to be with you. When I was campaigning, uh, John Boniface said to me at a house party in Amherst, one of the first ones I did, Joe, if we send you to the Senate, will you introduce a resolution calling on our federal delegation to start an impeachment inquiry for Donald Trump? And I said, yes, of course I will. Uh, so I was really honored to keep that promise. Some of you may know that while I was at Move On, which is the job I held right before going into the Senate, I led Move On's uh, defense of Robert Mueller work, so defense of the Mueller investigation, as well as um, the impeachment inquiry work. And of course, I did it in partnership with an incredible Move On team. And I want to thank the Move On folks who are on the ground now. And I want to thank my Move On family, who's generated these kinds of uh, actions all across the United States today. I feel like I'm with them so much in spirit by getting to be with you today on the ground. So let's give it up for Move On. I have to say that now as a Move On member, uh, you know, now I'm not on the team, I'm a Move On member, I see the necessity of an organization like Move On and Indivisible and all of these powerhouse national organizations that are calling us into the street. Because as Jim McGovern just said, right, this is a time to push forward as hard as we possibly can. This is the moment, this is a precipice, a moment of absolute change. And it's this kind of grassroots mobilization that you're called to today that is going to make the difference. Someone just said to me the other day when I was at a community event, ah, this impeachment thing, Joe, it's all political. And I said, no, 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 it's not about politics. Asking Congressman Jerry Nadler of the Judiciary Committee to open up an impeachment investigation is a moral call to action to defend our democracy. <laughs> to do because since his campaign and I was proud to work on a United Against Hate campaign trying to keep Donald Trump from occupying that White House and since his campaign and every day since he has flouted our democracy he has ripped apart the human and civil rights infrastructure that we cherish and have built he has put in peril people of color uh, immigrant communities LGBT women every sort of targeted and marginalized community is in peril because that man sits in the White House. And to this point, to the point regarding the impeachment investigation that we must open, to this point, he is abusing the power of his office. That is an impeachable offense. He did that before he even took the oath of office. And that is why Jerry Nadler must now seeing the Mueller report, which talks about 140 contacts with Russia, 10, 10 obstructions of justice, and that is just the beginning. Jerry Nadler must take that baton, that powerful baton, which does not tell us, friends, it does not tell us, and it should not tell us what to do. It simply lays out the evidence for Congress to do its job yeah. and take that evidence and decide, decide the consequence for a president that violates our Constitution, that violates our moral code and every single thing that we hold dear. Read the report! Read the report. Um, so finally, let me just close and say, I'm really proud to introduce the Senate resolution uh, that calls on our federal delegation at the Massachusetts level to open up and support an impeachment investigation. It would not... Well, I'm gonna turn this around, John Donovan. This would not have happened if it were not for people like John Boniface, like Jennifer Taub, and Free Speech for People, and the people here in this community that have been demanding that we defend our democracy against all odds. So I'm very honored to do that. I'm, I'm honored to stay with Free Speech for People as we also try to get big money out of politics, which is part of this. And we try to limit the influence of these big packs, these mega packs that are turning us away, turning those of us in government away from people like you, where we should be rooted and tethered and toward the promise of a big check. It is what is ruining our democracy, and I'm glad to be doing that work on the state level. Thank you. And finally, let me just close, because I want to bust open one myth uh, that I'm sure John and Jennifer and others hear all the time when they say, Oh my God, Democrats, Democrats, 
You can't possibly want to impeach Donald Trump. It's the only thing you're going to be talking about. We have to get something done in Congress. Well, let me tell you one thing, and I worked at the national level for years and years before turning to the state level. That man will not get one decent thing done for this nation, not one decent thing. So if we pretend that he is some rational person with whom we can negotiate, we are missing the opportunity to come to the aid of our democracy. So we cannot be, we cannot be, and we really, here it is, we cannot be afraid to do what is right at the national level. By doing what's right, by asking Jerry Nadler to open up an impeachment inquiry, which is simply that, an inquiry as to whether or not Donald Trump has committed an impeachable offense. We are in fact doing the work for education and immigrant rights and civil rights and climate justice that we so much want because that man cannot get another term in that White House. Republicans must, must no longer be in the majority in the Senate. We have to take back our nation. And by telling the truth and calling voters out in the light of the day, we will be taking our nation back and doing the kind of work that we know is so desperately needed. So thank you so much. Thank you to the organizers.